So there's a rally car race going on today in Porto, which is really cool. They have a uh, two kilometer lap set around the city streets. Um, I think the event starts in a couple of hours. They're doing some test runs right now, but I get to see it all from my balcony here in my hostel. How cool is that? Today is a very lazy day in Porto. I think I had one too many sangrias at the hostel last night, but I blame them for giving us unlimited drinks for only 10 euros. Got everything set up here for the rally car race tonight. I'm trying to figure out how I could get around with the whole city kind of cordoned off. I honestly feel like I'm staying in one of the best parts of town. It's very quiet, yet picturesque at the same time. And I'm on top of the hill, so everywhere you go, you get overlooking views of the city. I think I found my drone spot, honestly, because it's been really difficult to find a quiet, secluded spot away from everybody. You get to see everything. See the city of Gaia on the other side, the bridges, the churches. <laughs> I'm not the only one who likes that beautiful spot. What's cool is that they're actually restoring a lot of these buildings and here's a picture of what the building used to look like and uh, here's the condition of it today. So I just read up that this is the uh, old Jewish quarter in Porto. This is uh, Vitoria. Um, yeah, a lot of it is still very rustic and unrestored but there are um, restoration works going on basically on every street which is really good to see. right back into the action of it all. There's the rally car track again. So here's the exact map of the uh, street stage that they're doing here. Um, this is where I'm staying at the hostel. You know, this is quite cool. This is a very interesting city. I am really, really surprised. I didn't know what to expect when I got here, but just the views are amazing. Architecture is beautiful. The culture is very rich and it's a living, breathing city full of life. I always wonder what it's like uh, to be in a city when they're having a street race. Well, now I actually get to experience it firsthand. Can I do a pork one too? And then a cheese? Okay, perfect. Alright, so I stopped off at this completely random cafe down this side alley, but they serve really good food. Um, the guy said it's like Portuguese. It looks like empanadas, to be honest, but there's, I got a fish one, we got a pork one, got a cheese one. Yeah, that's one of the best parts about staying in a city for more than a week. You really get to explore every little nook and cranny that you probably wouldn't really want to or even be able to explore if you only had two or three days. I'm literally just wandering around and stumbling upon like the most picturesque back alleyways, the most interesting food places.
party up here. Everybody's here watching the uh, the rally car race. I don't know much about it, but it seems to be very exciting. There was already one crash earlier. I didn't film it, of course, uh, and nobody got hurt, luckily. But right now, they actually like tightened up the uh, tightened up the course a little bit, and they're bringing out the professional cars. So I think it'll be really cool to see. right now. This is a huge party. <laughs> without a watch the race. Alright, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I'm gonna stop filming all these cars going by. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully y'all enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next